Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 16. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you uh, the different types of objects that you can actually edit. Uh, so far, we've done meshes, and uh, if you hit your space bar, you'll see we have add, and then mesh, curve, surface, and meta. And we'll deal with the rest of these later. Uh, the mesh, you have all the you have all these different uh, types of objects you can add in and curves there's two uh, types of curves we have a bizarre and a nerves the path is not so much as a curve that you would edit just uh, something that you can control and to uh, constraint the camera track to or something like that a surface you have nerves okay and your meta your meta is uh, a little different uh, you wouldn't no you're, you couldn't make one and make the same uh, elements as it has. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to add a meta ball. I'm going to delete the default cube. Hold on. Object mode. Okay. This is a meta ball. You can animate these and make characters, uh, but it's going to look like a jello guy or something. Okay, so these two meta balls, after you shift D, duplicate, you can see how they react to each other. It's not like a mesh or any other uh, object. Okay. Very interesting. It's a little weird, but <laughs> get the idea. And you can, uh, you have all these different uh, types of objects on here. You can add to the stiffness of that. Okay. You can, I believe, you can add. Uh, you can I think you can make these uh, turn into a mesh by going to uh, an object mode. After you get your uh, the position you want, you can get to object and go up here to convert object type and then mesh keep original and then you convert it to a mesh and you bring this one over here and now it's a mesh but you couldn't uh, animate this the same way as you did this one as before file new right, so uh, the next one is uh, <coughs> add a curve add curve and we can have a zero curve uh, you can do a lot of things with these, but mainly it's for tracing objects out and uh, creating paths. Okay. Uh, the, for this to work, see how you can't move it on the blue uh, or on the z-axis. You have to come down here and hit the. Uh, you have to come down here and hit the 3D button. Okay. That means it can move throughout the world. Now you can move it. As soon as you hit 3D, though, you'll get these uh, lines. And that's the direction of your path. And you can extrude them just like before. Okay? And that's how that works. Let's go ahead and delete that. Oh, and uh, one cool thing with this, uh, with these paths, is you can come down here and uh, there's an extrude button. Just hit that a few times and be able depth. Okay? Go into tab edit mode, and now you can edit like this. Kind of looks like a ribbon. Okay, and I'm uh, just going to delete this now. Yeah. All right, and another one is add surface and nerb circle. We're going to model with this in this tutorial. Okay, so add our nerb circle, and we're going to create a tube or tunnel like uh, object. So in front of you, you can either hit E and extrude it, okay? But I'm going to do Shift D, put one here, put one here. Just keep hitting Shift D and uh, bring it in different locations, okay? So this is what we have. Hit A to select all and F for face. Now we have F for face. We can face these, okay? And you can kind of play around with these and see how you like it. You go to uh, side view, rotate this around. You can uh, rotate it to where the camera can see it. And you can render it through there like a tunnel or something. Go back to uh, object mode and you can also turn this back into a mesh. So in object mode, select it. Object convert object type and mesh 
okay some tipful or helpful uh, tips for modeling you can set it to smooth add a modifier subsurf and go to camera view just rotate this double R okay uh, actually I'm going to show you how to move this camera around to where you want it okay I'm just going to rotate this back to a more accurate angle say you want the camera to be looking right here okay I'm in uh, perspective mode so just find the location you want the camera to be zoom back just a little bit so that your camera has room okay and hold control alt and then hit zero and it'll place your camera in that position okay so see you moved your camera and that's only going to move the active camera uh, if you want another camera to move you would have to do that a little differently okay so that'll bring your camera here say you want it on this side just get where you want it zoom out a little bit control alt zero and there you have it you can just grab it and you can select the camera from off to the side so it's unselected select it and just uh, left mouse click and then start dragging alright uh, and you can just put a light in there or something so that's just uh, helpful for uh, modeling and getting your right positions in uh, say you don't want to uh, render though a uh, full preview okay all you have to do is go to uh, view and then render preview and you have this little uh, window pull it down here and just render it It'll, it won't do anything now because I don't have any objects alright and uh, this concludes uh, Blender video tutorial number 16 this was just some helpful tips and modeling techniques with other models